we start with the apostles to stability first we'll see the tapo system stability overview then what is the definition of the tapo uh, system stability and the necessity of the stability classification and different types of stability such as road angle stability voltage stability and frequency stability then also we will compare the rotor angle stability and the voltage stability power system stability overview that is first before entering into the, the stability studies what do you mean by the power system that is the power system is a defined as it is a network of one or more generating units loads and power transmission lines including associated equipments connected to it that is we know already a power system is comprises of that is the generation the number of generators the transmission line distribution network and of course the loads and for uh, from the generating station up to the load end there are different uh, the equipments involved in the, the power system that is a bunch of the generation transmission and distribution networks with associated equipments along with the load is what we are calling as overall the power system then we will define what do we mean by the stability studies or stability of the power system that is the definition of the stability as the stability of a power system is its ability to develop restoring forces equal to or greater than disturbing forces to maintain the state of equilibrium that is it is the ability of the power system to regain its equilibrium position by having the the restoring forces in the event of any disturbance just i am putting a small example there is a, a network generate that is the input to the power system is 120 megabit load is 100 megabit loss is 20 megabit that is the loss plus output is 100 plus 20 that is 120 and the input to the network is 120 megabyte therefore it is a state of equilibrium that is the input what we are inputting the power system is 120 megabyte 100 megabyte is a load 20 megabyte is a loss then the total the input is equal to output plus losses in that event there is a 10 megabyte of load is increase on the power system now there is a output is now 110 megabyte loss we are keeping constant 20 megawatt that is 110 plus 20 130 megawatt that is output plus losses is 130 megawatts whereas the input is 120 megawatt therefore there is imbalance there is a disturbance of increase in the load of 10 megawatt that imbalancing the input and output plus losses in that case the power system has to capable of producing extra 10 megawatt so that once again the input is equal to the output plus losses so that previously we have got 120 megawatt now i have to produce extra 10 megawatt so that that what 10 megawatt extra things what i am producing it is capability of the power system to generate extra 10 megawatt that is what we are calling is restoring force that is in the event of any disturbances if the power system has capability of counterbalancing that disturbance by producing restoring forces and attaining the once again the equilibrium portion that what we are calling is the power system stability the power system stability problem gets more pronounced in the case of interconnected of large power system that is it is very much essential to run the power power system in the mode of stability okay that is it is very important for it is a we know that the power system is a vast network and it is disturbing the, the whole power system then we will 
see the uh, what we mean by the power system stability with respect to the machine that is one aspect of the system security if the system is secured secured means it is a state of the equilibrium position one aspect of the system secured is the ability of the system to stay together that is it should not lose its signal so all the networks that is generators are run in the synchronous that is one aspect of the system security is the ability of the system to stay together the key is that generator continue to operate in synchronous if all the the system is secured means that is a stay together means is all the generators they are operating in synchronous or they are not lose synchronous or not go out of step if the all the generators they are working in the synchronous then that is the system is secured therefore that about our point is stay together all the generators are operating in the mode of synchronous that what we are calling is the power system is stable what we are calling then what is the importance of the, the power system stability that is we know that generator must be kept in synchronous that is as a to make the system stable all the generator must be kept in they are to operate in synchronous if there is a relative motion begins to change it too much uncontrollable oscillations may appear in the grid causing damage to the generators and equipments that is the oscillations come into picture when there is a imbalance of this then what happens the load angle goes on changing therefore the load angle not attaining its the stable condition immediately then there is a oscillation starts then what he is telling that if the oscillation is too large in that case there is a possibility of losing the synchronous therefore what you have to do the relays are used to detect this conditions and trip the generators before damage occurs that is if uneven or very large oscillation if it is causing because of imbalance in that case you have to detect uh, detect those by re relays and you have to take the appropriate corrective measures although tripping prevents the damage if you are using the relay if you are tripping the prevents the damage it results in under frequency and possibly load interruption and in the worst case cascading outages and blackout that is if you are looking into there is a imbalance in that case there is a large oscillations then the relay is detecting and because of this tripping the other consequences are there is a load interruption tripping means what we are disconnecting the load okay then it is a interruption of the load because of this if it is a overloading on the other systems if the disturbance is too large and there is a outages in one of the feeder then it is goes on increasing it is uh, transferring its the load to other one by tripping one and one by one then there is a cascading effect ultimately it is lose the the whole system is going to a synchronous state that what we are calling is the blackout therefore you are the importance of the power system stability is you are to see that the system remains the stable by the appropriate restoring forces so that it has to regain synchronous then the some of the the definitions the which is pertaining to the stability studies you are already aware with the, the power system it is a system comprises of generators the transmission and the distribution along with the, the associated equipments and the load then the operating quantities of the power system is nothing but the measurable quantities which are the measurable quantities in the power system for analysis purpose these are the real and reactive power and apparent power rms phases of alternating voltages and the current these are the operating quantities of the, the power system then based on these quantities that is the real power reactive power apparent power the 
voltage and the currents at the different parts of the system we come to know what is the change in the, the state of all these quantities therefore these are giving the exact picture of the what is the variation of the voltage current frequency okay active power reactive power these are called as the operating quantities of the power system then steady state operating condition of a power system that is what we are starting we are begin with our system is the stable that is initially it is steady state operating condition means it is a state of equilibrium then there is a load plus losses must be equal to the input an operating condition of a power system in which all the operating quantities that characterize it can be considered to be constant for purpose of analysis that is in the state of operating condition of a system steady state operating condition of the system means the all the measurable quantities or operating quantities either voltage current frequency active power reactive power they are constant value because as such there is no difference uh, disturbances if there is no disturbances the operating quantities of a power system remains constant that state of the condition you are calling as a steady state operating condition the sum of the of the definitions pertaining to synchronous operation and asynchronous operation that is first synchronous operation of a machine if it is considered only machine a machine is a synchronous a machine is in synchronous operation with a network that is a alternator which is connected to a network or another machine to which it is connected if it is average electrical speed that is nothing but your ultimately it is a frequency of the that particular machine equals to the angular frequency of the network that is the whatever the frequency of the synchronous generator which is connected to the network and the network frequency as well as synchronous machine frequency should be match then only the system, the machine is operating in synchronous with the network and synchronous operation of a power system as a whole how we are defining that that is a power system is in the synchronous operation if all of its connected synchronous machine that is why i am considered in the first case synchronous machine connected to network in the second case the all the synchronous machines which is connected to network they will operate with a, the synchronism if the frequency of all the machines are the same as the network frequency in other words asynchronous operation of the machine is a machine is in asynchronous operation with a network or another machine to which it is connected if it is not synchronous in the operation that is if the frequency is not matching then ultimately the synchronous operation is not there for it is called as asynchronous operation in the similar fashion you can apply the same definition for the asynchronous operation of a power system that is a power system is in asynchronous operation if one or more of its connected synchronous machines are in asynchronous operation then it is called as the overall asynchronous operation of a power system then there is one more definition that is a hunting of a machine a machine is hunting if any of its operating quantities experience sustained oscillations that is operating quantities i told you voltage current real power reactive power if anything they start changing the arc in the case of the hunting there is a the quantity operating quantity which is changing is the angle delta then this system is that is hunting of the machine uh, this is about the brief introduction to the, the power system stability in the next session once again we'll continue with some more the depth of the stability definitions and what are the different types of stability studies